right, folks, here we are at the Big Boss setting up the laser. One of our first jobs post-Abraham. Hang your head for the solar man who's done gone away. So Big Scott's up here setting up the level. We're getting the level set up. Got our line up. We're about to drive four posts. We're adding two more 28 panel arrays to this job. This is a triple solar. It's in an undisclosed location, as always. This is one of our first jobs since since Abraham's moved along. And boy, it's hard. All you can do sometimes not to just break down and cry a little bit. Guys, the laser is essential. Okay, so we're setting up the laser level now, which is essential for uh, getting your posts perfectly level. Uh, it is really important that your posts on your solar array are all plumb and level and their rotation is really close. That's just gonna make it that much straighter. Lots of adjustability built into the Sinclair, but if you can build it straight from the get-go, it's really helpful when you're putting it together. And we also find, you know, when doing these residential ground mounts, even though we're kind of doing them solar farm style, our margin of error or acceptable tolerances, our acceptable tolerances are a lot tighter because we want everything to look really good. And we, want this, we still care about aesthetics. So Scott got a new excavator. It's got three pumps on it and he's nicknamed it butter because it handles the post driver a lot better than the 35. i think it's just one up i think it's a 40. but it it just got got a little bit extra and that's all it needs to make the post driver work a lot better awesome customer went ahead and placed the panels on the hill these are q cell 410 bifacials and uh there's talk of putting some white gravel down behind them so that they just kill it in the summer so we got another pallet sitting back behind the array visually so what's going to happen when we set that in there kind of locks it you're going to hold it yeah and then there's pocket in here tony is totally his machine you reach in there so you're about an inch off the string he hammers yeah. in it's made for this ground little, okay. little I mean, piece I can change out hammers but i got it it's made for the this. sukozawa bought that saw for from a present to myself i give that to me as a gift to myself that's a nice gift for yourself. Our new machine is from the Quakers. No, it's not. He doesn't like me saying it's because it's the Earthquaker. It's got a cool name already, but we just keep giving it cooler names. So we are like, nah, we've been at it for about two hours. We've got four posts. I'm gonna do the other four here in a minute. Up. Ain't going gotta get my headphones on. Like, she's just slipping and sliding down the ground. Goodness gracious. Like it. it ain't going in that yet. No, it hasn't. It won't stop going down. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah. Uh. Right, this is not in. Put the level on it. I got it on. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. We got we go in that far, it's hard new helper. This guy's extremely now. organized. An already successful tradesman joining the crew. Takes a minute to get this post straight before you start hitting on it. And that is the end of our first day. It's getting a little bit cold up here. We got both racks. Well, we got one rack built, and we got the post in for the other rack. Scott and I don't work together anymore, unless we're working together. What do you mean, we're working together? <laughs> Look at that. So, that's a set of cantilevers, and the reason you have to do that now is because all the panel manufacturers have started making panels wider than 40 inches. But we'll 
we'll cut those off right where the panels land and we will have 28 panels on this one 28 panels on the one in the middle and 28 panels on the one in the back and then we have our panels for that rack and our panels for the other rack we're gonna have another row of panels back there this is kind of going to be the ultimate ultimate home backup power system all right guys so we've just finished racking the glass it's uh mid-morning here we just got done racking the glass on this new array these are 28 410 watt modules you can see they're really cool looking the way they're transparent like that and we're doing a little digging we're pushing some trees over we're doing a little digging pushing some trees over doing a little plumbing we're trenching over to this array from a pull box where i have my two two inch conduits going in I'm just running one and a quarter to there and then we're trenching over to the back array as well and i gotta run and get my knockout tool here's that other solar array we're building scott's gonna go ahead and trench over to that so here's engineer 775 but now you're resilient here, right? Did you resilient? Get a new phone? No. That's like a new phone. I just got a new case. Oh, I see. And uh, <clears throat> we're mounting the first panel on first the panel? third array. Oh, first okay. panel, third array. That's better. Come up a little bit. We call him Eagle Eye on this one because he, he sights it in. We don't show a lot of this. It's pretty straightforward. Straight secret. If you build it straight no and you mount them straight, They'll be straight. But if you build them crooked, oh, you're fired. that one moved a good bit. Just a little yeah, movement in the cantilever. Right Everything gets real solid when you lock it all together. All right, folks. So all we like now is coming back and wiring this thing. And uh, we will have one of the largest systems I have installed to date. This is a pretty big residential battery backup system so there's the original array here we've got the new bifacial array looks super cool from behind and uh, you can see we pulled our conduits one and the others go into the other array and there's our other solar array we've got a conduit going to that one you can see our shade lines are good we're just it's like January Fifth. So we're very close to the shortest day of the year. We're not having any shading, even at the very end of the day. The shading is good on these arrays. So maybe we'll do a video about how to calculate inter row shading distance. A lot of math involved, or you can just hold a stick up on the shortest day of the year. So there's that second row. Or does the second additional array, 28, 410 watt bifacial Q cells. And there's engineer 775 in the distance. My back is busted, so they're, they're doing my, most of the heavy lifting.